Rivers of Faith A journey begins. India, a land of ancient wisdom and vibrant spirituality, is blessed with rivers that are revered as sacred lifelines. These rivers, considered goddesses in Hindu mythology, hold immense spiritual significance. They are believed to be the earthly manifestations of divine beings, their waters imbued with the power to purify and heal. From the Himalayas to the southern tip, these rivers have shaped India's cultural and religious landscape. For centuries, pilgrims have flocked to these sacred waters, seeking solace and a deeper connection with the divine. This essay explores seven of India's most sacred rivers, Ganga, Yamuna, Godavari, Saraswati, Narmada, Kaveri, and Indus. Join us as we journey through the heart of India, tracing the flow of these divine waters. Ganga, the Celestial River Flowing from the heavens to the earth, the Ganges, or Ganga, holds a paramount position in Hindu mythology and spirituality. Considered the most sacred river in India, Ganga is believed to have descended from the heavens. Along her banks lie some of Hinduism's holiest cities, Haridwar, Allahabad, and Varanasi, each a vibrant tapestry of faith and devotion. Millions of pilgrims converge upon these cities, seeking to bathe in Ganga's sacred waters. Yamuna, daughter of the sun, the Yamuna, often referred to as Yami, is the twin sister of Yama, the god of death, and the daughter of Surya, the sun god. Her dark, almost black waters are believed to represent the underworld, contrasting with the Ganges' clear, life-giving flow. Yet, the Yamuna is revered as a goddess of life and purity. Originating from the Yamunotri glacier in the Himalayas, the Yamuna merges with the Ganges at Allahabad, their confluence known as Triveni Sangam, a site of immense religious importance. The Yamuna is intricately linked to Lord Krishna, who is believed to have spent his childhood on her banks in Vrindavan and Mathura. These cities resonate with tales of Krishna's divine plays, attracting devotees who immerse themselves in his devotional practices. The Yamuna thus embodies a duality, a reminder of mortality and the promise of spiritual liberation. Godavari, the Dakshina Ganga. Known as the Dakshina Ganga, or the Ganges of the South, the Godavari is the longest river in peninsular India. Her origins are linked to the epic Ramayana, where she is said to have sprung forth at the request of sage Gautama to relieve a drought. The Godavari's journey across central and southern India is marked by numerous temples and pilgrimage sites, including the ancient city of Nashik, where the Kumbh Mela is also held. The river is particularly venerated in Maharashtra, Telangana, and Andhra Pradesh, where her annual floods are welcomed as a symbol of fertility and prosperity. The Pushkaram festival, celebrated every 12 years, honors the Godavari and other sacred rivers of India, highlighting the importance of these water bodies in sustaining life and nourishing the soul. Section 5. Saraswati, the Lost River of Knowledge The Saraswati, unlike the other rivers on this journey, exists primarily in the realm of myth and memory. Referred to as the Veda Nadi, or the River of Knowledge, the Saraswati is believed to have once flowed through the northwestern part of India, mentioned extensively in ancient Hindu scriptures like the Rig Veda. She is revered as the goddess of learning, wisdom, art and music, her flow representing the transmission of knowledge and enlightenment. Although the Saraswati is said to have dried up centuries ago, possibly due to tectonic shifts, her legacy endures in the spiritual consciousness of India. Many believe that the Saraswati continues to flow underground, her presence felt in the spiritual energy of places like Kurukshetra, the site of the epic battle of Mahabharata. The Saraswati remains a powerful symbol of the intangible aspects of spirituality, knowledge, wisdom and inspiration that nourish the soul. Section 6. 
Narmada, the river of repose. The Narmada, originating from the Amarkantak Plateau in central India, holds a unique position among India's sacred rivers. Unlike other rivers that flow eastward, the Narmada flows westward, making her journey a pilgrimage in reverse, symbolizing the soul's journey back to its source. Known as Riva, or the giver of pleasure, the Narmada is associated with Lord Shiva and is believed to have emerged from his sweat. Her banks are dotted with temples and shrines, including the holy city of Omkareshwar, home to one of the 12 Jyotirlingas. The Narmada Parikrama, a circumambulation of the river on foot, is considered a highly meritorious act, believed to cleanse sins and bestow spiritual liberation. The Narmada, in her westward flow, invites introspection and a journey inward towards self-realization. Section 7. Kaveri, the giver of plenty. The Kaveri, originating in the Brahmagiri hills of Karnataka, is the lifeline of southern India, her waters nourishing the fertile lands of Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Known as Dakshina Ganga, or the Ganges of the South, the Kaveri is revered as a goddess of abundance and prosperity. Her birth is linked to the legend of sage Agastya, who is said to have held the river in his kamandalu, or water pot, and released her to quench the thirst of the parched south. The Kaveri is intricately linked to the Chola Empire, which flourished along her banks, leaving behind architectural marvels like the Brihadiswarar Temple in Thanjavur. The river's annual floods are celebrated with fervor, particularly during the Kaveri Pushkaram festival, a time for pilgrims to bathe in her sacred waters and seek her blessings. The Kaveri, in her life-giving flow, embodies the interconnectedness of the spiritual and the material. Section 8. Sindhu, the Cradle of Civilization The Indus River, or Sindhu, holds a special place in India's spiritual consciousness for it cradled one of the world's oldest civilizations, the Indus Valley Civilization. Originating from the Tibetan Plateau, the Indus carves its path through the Himalayas, entering India in the Ladakh region. Though much of the Indus flows through present-day Pakistan, its significance in Hindu mythology remains intact. The river finds mention in the Rig Veda, one of Hinduism's most sacred texts, and is personified as a goddess a giver of life and prosperity. The Indus is also associated with the Vedic deity, Indra, the king of gods, further highlighting its significance in ancient India. While the Indus's banks in India may not be as densely populated with temples and pilgrimage sites as other sacred rivers, its cultural and spiritual resonance continues to echo through time, reminding us of the interconnectedness of civilizations and the enduring power of ancient rivers. Section 9. Living Waters, the Enduring Legacy India's sacred rivers are not merely bodies of water. They are living entities, woven into the very fabric of the nation's spiritual identity. For millennia, these rivers have been sources of inspiration, purification, and a tangible connection to the divine. Their waters have quenched the thirst of countless souls, their banks echoing with prayers, hymns, and the stories of gods and mortals. The rituals and festivals associated with these rivers are a testament to their enduring legacy, passed down through generations, keeping faith and traditions alive. The Kumbh Mela, the Pushkaram, and the Narmada Parikrama are just a few examples of the deep reverence and devotion these rivers inspire. Even today, in a rapidly changing world, the significance of these sacred waters remains undiminished. People from all walks of life continue to flock to their banks, seeking solace, guidance, and a reconnection with their spiritual core. Section 10. Towards Enlightenment. The Flow of Faith. The journey through India's sacred rivers is a pilgrimage into the heart of a civilization's spiritual consciousness. These rivers mirror the soul's journey towards enlightenment, 
Their waters symbolize the cleansing of karma and liberation from the cycle of birth and death. The rituals, mantras and offerings express a deep-rooted faith and a yearning for a deeper connection with the divine. These rivers nourish the soul, guiding seekers towards self-realization. The true essence of these rivers lies in the unwavering faith and devotion they inspire.